So you found out about trading and you don't know where to start. In this video, I'm gonna be walking you through MetaTrader, both four and five. If you're completely new, don't worry, this is gonna be a full guide on what you need to know, how to start, more importantly, use the apps to your best advantage. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. Right guys, so I am on Apple, so I'm gonna to go to the App Store and just search MetaTrader 4 and five so you'll see metatrader four and five pop up over there you've also got trading view as well as the stocks app on the iphone so i'm going to go ahead and open up metatrader four for the time being you're going to be opened up on a window that has open a demo account or open and log into an existing account so if you have an existing account this is where you will click to log in to your existing account if you don't have an account and you are looking to start trading i'll leave a link down below for the broker i use completely reliable they do offer crypto deposits and withdrawals which is extremely good especially if you're looking to uh, withdraw and deposit in crypto so i'll leave a link down below that is to sign up to an account if you do not already have one however if you are fresh to the market and you don't know uh, much about trading yet then i do recommend opening up a demo account choosing metacoids demo and this is where you can obviously choose whether you want your account to be in dollars euros swiss yen etc you can go ahead and choose your leverage for the purpose of this video we're going to ignore that for now um, your deposit you can choose what size you want in your demo again this is virtual funds so you can go ahead and tick off that, click register, and this will be your login details. So if you were to log into an existing account, i.e. you already had a brokerage account, you can go ahead and you will have similar logins to actually log into MetaTrader. So you can actually click on MetaTrader and you'll be opened up with this window over here where you have on the top a simple and advanced window. In this section, this is where all your pairs are quoted. So what is a pair? A pair is a currency pair versus another currency. Predominantly, the entire Forex market is weighted up against the dollar. The dollar is the current global reserve currency and everything you're trading is versus the dollar. So you've got the euro against the dollar, the pound against the dollar and vice versa. On the left hand side you have your bid and you have your ask these are the two different prices that you get whether you're buying or selling and again the difference between those two prices is known as your spread this is how the brokers make commission on you placing the trade but more importantly um, you want to keep these two numbers in mind to see whether or not you actually have a good spread but if you're again want to sign up to an, a, a brokerage account with really good spreads I'll leave the link down below. Go ahead and sign up with them. So you can click on simple, which will just show you the two prices. Or if you click on advanced, you can actually see the spread on the left hand side, which will show you in pipettes. So 13 on the spread is 1.3 pips spread, which again is not too bad um, over there. If you want to add new symbols, simply click on the plus on the top right and search whatever you'd like to add over here. We've just gonna, we've just typed the word XAU for gold. So we can go ahead and add that. To add it, you simply just click the plus sign um, over there. Again, if you wanna view a chart or if you wanna click on a currency, simply click on the currency. So we'll click on gold, we can click on chart. The chart will then show us pretty much the entirety of um, gold and to flick through the different time frames, you can simply click on the top right, top left, excuse me, where you have all the different time frames from the one minute, the five minute, the 15 minute, the 30 minute. To switch through the time frames, you just simply click on the time frame. On the top right hand side, you have something saying trade, so you can click on trade. This will show you whether you want to enter via instant execution. You can click on that, and that will have different scenarios where you can set up a buy limit a sell limit a buy stop and a sell stop i'll include that in another video on the channel for you guys to go watch so go ahead and subscribe to the channel where i'm going to be walking you through everything trading wise also my live trades so you can follow along and learn so 
Click on instant execution again to ignore that for now. On the top, you have your lots. So this is how much buying power you're putting onto the trade or essentially how much you're betting on the trade. Um, again, I'll include that in another video when I talk about lot sizes, risk management and leverage. So we'll go ahead and leave that for another video. However, if you wanna just reduce your trade size, you can simply click on the numbers over here and increase your size. The one on the left is 0.10 and the one on the, on the left, the smaller one, excuse me, is 0.01 and that allows you to change up and down the amount that you're risking on the trade. You have your stop loss. This is a level at which you feel a trade will no longer be relevant and that will essentially cut you off and close the trade. That is essential, in my opinion, to always trade with a stop loss. This is also a method which ensures you manage your risk effectively. A take profit level is essentially where you feel you would like to take profit, where you feel the trade is done. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and actually for the purpose of the video, place a trade. 75, let's do a one lot trade. And yeah, just click buy or sell in that case. To then view your trade, if you go on the lower time frame, you can actually see it there. We have our entry price, which is buy of one lot. We have the stop loss, which is over there, and we have the take profit as well. If you look at that on the lower time frames, this just simply shows you that that's where your entry is. You had your stop loss and you had your take profit. On your main trade window, if you look down here at the bottom, you click trade. This will show you your main tab. You have your balance on the top. Your balance is gonna be fixed, right? That's gonna be fixed. After all closed trades, that is how much you have in your account. Your equity is how much you have with the current trade that is floating, whether it's in a loss, whether it is in profit. Right now we're in $120 profit on this trade. So you can see how the equity has now factored in my balance plus the current floating profit. Your margin is how much margin this trade, how much margin you have left, excuse me. And the free, so no, the margin is how much, so the margin is how much this trade has used. Your free margin is how much margin you have left. If you go ahead and scroll through MetaTrader, there are other options over here. I wouldn't worry too much about the rest, but if you do want to change the color of your charts, if you've downloaded MetaTrader completely from the beginning, your charts may be black and green candlesticks, but if you do want to change that, you can literally come to this chart section and uh, yeah, change the colors of uh, whatever you want. I will leave my settings on the chart right now if you want to go ahead and um, copy them so your charts look like mine. So the trade continuing to float there in profit. If I was to try and close some of this position, all I'm gonna have to do is click on the trade and swipe to the left. This will bring up four options. Option one on the right hand side is to view the chart. To go back to the trade window, I click on trade at the bottom. I swipe to the right again, I can get, click plus, which means I wanna add to this trade, right? This will open a different order, but it will add to that trade. I can click the pencil icon, which will allow me to, again, just adjust the stop loss, for example, or the take profit. I can swipe again for the for the tick, which means I wanna close the position. The good part of this is, you don't have to close the full position. You can actually close half or 20% of it. To do that, you simply click where the one is, and you type in what you would like to close. So let's say I wanna close 0.2, which means I'm closing 20% of the current position. And I can see there at the bottom it says close with a profit. And that number is obviously gonna fluctuate up and down while the market's moving. So if I click close with profit, then that has now left me with a 0.8 because I closed 0.2 of the position. I can go to my history and we can see over there the deposit of 100,000 because we just opened this demo a few moments ago. The history, we've now closed a 0 0.20 trade. And if we click on trade down below, this will then show you that you still have one trade floating. If you click on chart, that will take you back to the chart section. If you click on quotes, that's gonna take you back to all the currency pairs, right? So your main features that you're gonna be using is the trade section. 
uh, the chart and your quotes and obviously your history down below to see all the trades that you've closed and so forth. Looking at this trade right now, again, one last thing that I did want to tell you is if you click on the closed icon, that will then also allow you to adjust your stop loss and take no one. So one last thing that I wanted to show you there on this is simply that if you want to close the entire position, you can click just close and that will close the remainder of what you left open initially. If you did want to close their entire position first time around, you can just close it uh, straight away. But that is pretty much MetaTrader 4. I love MetaTrader 4. Uh, MetaTrader 5 is exactly the same no different features the only thing on MetaTrader 5 you can move the stop loss and take profit by simply clicking on it which is pretty cool but I will include that in another video I hope you enjoyed this one guys if you are new and you want to get completely started I'll leave some links down below go ahead and check them out and if you need an account I'll leave uh, my preferred broker down below as well but Hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck on your trading journey. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be doing everything and be sharing everything I've learned over the past 10 years in the markets. So enjoy it. I'll see you on the next video.